welcome to this video on frequency polygons. So this is another way of drawing a graph. Um, you can do this with a bar chart, but we're going to be very super clever here and we're going to do it without, okay? Because you don't get any extra marks in the exam for drawing a bar chart, okay? It's called a frequency polygon. Uh, it looks a bit like a polygon. It also looks like a line graph, to be perfectly honest. Um, so we've got here the table showing the information. It's about science marks, so 0 to 10, 11 to 20, and so on. You might find those with inequality symbols as well. And all we're going to do is we're going to identify where the bar should be. We're going to go halfway through it, and we're going to plot the point. So this bar here is 0 to 10. I want to go to 5, so that's halfway in it. And I want to go up to the number 4. Okay, we could plot it just there. I'm going to do that for every single bar. So 10 to 20, I want to go halfway, and I want to go all the way up to 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. 20 to 30, I want to go all the way up to 17. So if that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 30 to 40, we've got 19. Okay. So again, if that one there is 17, 19, and 41 to 50. So this section here, you go halfway, and we're going up to 7. Okay, and what we're going to do is then join those up with a straight edge, straight lines. Okay, that's what we want. We don't want curves. No curves whatsoever. Play dot to dot again. Ignore that bit. Okay. What we do not do is join these together. So these two dots do not get joined together. And we do not join this to the axes. It sits like that. Okay. So do not, whatever you do, join it to the axes. Have a look at another one. Okay. So again, you'll see we've got the same sort of data. You'll see it's got the inequality symbols in this time. doesn't mean anything different. It just means 100 to 110 and so on. And again, we're going to plot our points. So each of my small squares is worth one. So I'm going to go 100 to 110, go to halfway, and I want to go up to 5. Okay. For the next one, I'm going 110 to 120. I want to go a halfway, and I want to go up to number 9. Okay. For 120 to 130, I want to go halfway, and I want to go all the way up to 14. 130 to 140, I want to go halfway, and I want to go all the way up to 24. And the last one, 140 to 150, go halfway, and go up to there. And again, you're going to take your straight edge, and you're going to join it up. Okay, all the way through. No curves, play dot to dot. Okay, remember what we said earlier, we do not join these two dots up and we do not join them to the axes, we leave it floating on the graph. Good luck!